secret formula for study life balance and work life balance. The importance of setting goals for myself. It's equally important to not be overwhelmed by these goals. I often come up with a to-do list to prioritize my daily, weekly and monthly tasks to get done. I also maintain a journal entry each time I feel stressed or anxious about reaching my goals. It's about mindfulness and I like to be mindful so that I don't neglect my mental well-being in the pursuit of my goals and aspirations. For instance, being a full-time tutor while juggling content creation hasn't been easy, so I often like to draw up a weekly timetable like this one to sort out my tuition assignments, whether they are face-to-face -face or online ones. I also prefer to enter my daily, weekly and monthly schedules on my phone's calendar so that I can get a quick glance at them during the day. On days that I have more free time to spare, I like to use the online templates that are so diverse and available on the Canva app. And sometimes I even print out these hard copies. Next up, to relax, I get adequate sleep at night. A good ergonomic pillow designed for optimal comfort is sleep inducing. Reducing distractions by muting out my phone and closing off the blinds helps me to feel cozy. Setting a sleep alarm and a wake alarm has been immensely helpful in terms of regulating my sleep cycle. Next up, I like to go for a walk in the park just to relax and take in the nature. And last but not the least, I like to end my day with some calming, soothing saxophone music by Kenny G as I drift off to sleep at night. This kind of jazz music is so my type of music as I feel refreshed and rejuvenated the following day. I feel ready to conquer the world no matter what. These are some of the ways in which I try to balance my work-life balance. How about you? If you are a student, how do you manage your study life balance? And if you are a working adult, how do you manage your work-life balance? Let me know in the comment section below.